Okay, well, uh, welcome everybody, and uh, thank you all for coming. And it looks like uh, it looks like we have uh, you've all been uh, already discussing uh, many other bits and pieces as well. So, um, but it's really lovely to have you all here. Um, I'm going to have you for well. I was going to say I was going to have you for 40 minutes, but am I just being told that my time is being uh, cut a little bit? Do I need to just so, just so I know now what my time availability is? <laughs> Yeah, you have 55 minutes before, 54 for it to be precise, before there is start. All right, uh, 54 minutes. Okay, cool. Oh, well, that's actually more than I thought. Okay, great. Well, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll share with you where we are at the moment. Um, and um, I guess talk to you a little bit about where the inspirations of the event came from and also a little bit about the Summerhill Centenary. Um, so. Uh, yeah, thank you all very much for coming. Obviously, we're now in, well, I say we, as in from Summerhill School's perspective, we're in a very exciting time that Summerhill School is now celebrating 100 years of um, existence, um, which is uh, a very exciting time for us, um, but also I think very exciting time for many other people who are sort of implementing similar sort of values into education. Um, sort of giving us all a sense of uh, something to lean on, uh, on that lovely sense of stability that actually the, the, the slightly uh, radical or maybe crazy ideas that A.S. Neil and many other people around the world um, are celebrating, um, actually that these values work. And um, I think especially um, our friends in UDEC and the democratic uh, uh, communities have been evidencing this for, for uh, many, many years and many, many uh, wonderful practices around the world. Um, so the centenary of Summerhill is really, a, um, we're seeing it as a, as a, as a global celebration, um, obviously for, for us at Summerhill, but also for everybody else around the world who are working uh, very hard to be implementing these kind of values, uh, uh, democracy and um, all of the other lovely values that go with that. Um, and so the centenary of Summerhill, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a few bits and pieces for those who may not um, uh, know already. Um, the, we have, I'm going to, oh, actually, wait, I've just realized this is the time I'm going to share my screen and have all the technical problems. Hosting is a disabled attendee screening. Can I share my screen, please? Some, I'm a really nice person. And uh, <laughs> I've got lots of lovely things to share. So if someone could please allow me to share my screen, that'd be lovely. Um, awesome, thank you very much. Uh, has that, is it working now? Yes, we're good, we're good. Um, great, so first of all, I just want to spend um, a few minutes to share with you, if you haven't seen already, uh, the very exciting centenary website that we have at the moment. I, I've already noticed that many people have joined our centenary website. Um, but this is a place for anybody who has been inspired by, but also who is doing lovely, lovely work around the world, um, a place to come and register yourself and share your story and share the wonderful work you're doing. Um, I won't be on here for too long, but literally to show you just a few bits and pieces. Uh, oh, if my internet is going to work. <laughs> here, um, uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks like it might do, yeah. So um, obviously many people have seen maps like this, um, but what we're wanting to do is to show the, the, the global sort of um, spread, if you will, of uh, people who have joined the site. Um, and are also celebrating with us um, uh, the centenary of Summerhill School. We've got a lovely list of friends, um, some of you already who have joined this wonderful list. Um, but there's many people, I think that what we're finding that is so exciting about this is that there's many people from very, 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 very different walks of life, not just within education, um, but whether it's people who have experienced this kind of um, education or these kind of values within education, they're all joining in and sharing their stories. We also have a lovely opportunity for people to be um, sharing projects. Uh, we're, we're really wanting to invite the fact that people can be uh, joining the celebration with us and celebrating the wonderful work that they're doing. 
and um, I won't go through too in too much detail, but it's, it, I, I invite you to come and have a little look at the wonderful uh, and really quite silly projects that uh, or, uh, or are being shared with everybody um, that people are taking on. Um, so there's all sorts of bits and pieces here. And um, and also a little, just a little uh, 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 look at the AS Neil Centre is um, this is a very exciting project and it took a little bit of a pause over the, 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 the COVID times uh, for very obvious reasons. But actually we're now, we're now looking to be moving forward with it again. Um, we've already had a few uh, generous contributions that are going to help us get it off the ground. Um, but it's a lovely, it's going to be a new building on the premises of Summerhill School um, that will be an archive, a historical archive of A.S. Neal and Summerhill School, but it will also be an ongoing living, uh, pulsing, should we say, uh, um, archive of the life at Summerhill um, and, and all, of its, all of its aspects. Um, and so, uh, and this is really, we're going to also want to, to be creating a library and a network of, uh, to be building bridges with lots of other wonderful um, uh, uh, facilities and organizations around the world um, to be, to be uh, broadening um, uh, research, specifically research and strengthening uh, these sort of styles of research um, around these sort of methods, should we say. Um, and, um, and then this will interlink a little bit onto the next website I'll show you, which I did just share a link. Um, the A.S. Neil Summerhill CIC uh, is, as you now know, a community interest company, which is a non-profit. Um, and this uh, company will be moving into the, the, the and, and running the uh, A.S. Neil Archive and Research Centre. And um, I, again, I won't go too far. I'll, I'll invite you to come and have a little look at the website. Um, but um, we, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be offering training. We're going to offer courses. Um, we're going to be building bridges with many other organizations around the world as well. We're going to be supporting school startups. And that's not to necessarily um, a start up a summer hill or, or even necessarily a democratic, specifically democratic schools. It's actually to be implementing the values of Summerhill and obviously a lot of us democratic communities as well um, into, into all sorts of different environments and in all sorts of different ways. I think that many people, as, as we in the, in the democratic education community, uh, would be very aware of is that many people who work in the state, state system, traditional education, can sometimes find it quite difficult to implement some of these values because of the restrictions that are put upon them. And so we're looking at in a very broader perspective of how even um, the importance of very simple things like relationships and how very simple um, ways that in, uh, people can be improving the learning environment. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're um, uh, facilitating, uh, helping school startups, um, uh, working with practitioners, uh, consultancy, we're working with communities as well. Um, the plan will be to be working within uh, local communities to try and also strengthen more alternative uh, methods uh, and values. Um, I don't really like the word alternative, but uh, I'm, I'll use it. I think people know what I mean by that. <laughs> um, and um, but really to sort of start to to to, to strengthen communities um, to be also implementing more of these kind of values as well. Um, and we're going to be hosting different events as well, um, whether they'll be on the site of Summerhill or like this this lovely uh, event that we're hosting. Uh, on the first of uh, on the third, sorry, of September in Greece, uh, we're going to be resident uh, doing a residential uh, uh, course for practitioners there as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep sort of moving down. Uh, the other one, I just obviously the main topic of this talk really is obviously the very exciting Summerhill Festival of Childhood. Um, this is the Summerhill Festival of Childhood website. Again, I recommend you come and have a little look around. Um, but what I won't spend too much time here, um, apart from to say, obviously, you all need to book your tickets. <laughs> because it's going to be a very unique and wonderful event. And that's in 2022, where we can all gather in person and we can hug and we can all uh, uh, buzz off each other's energies and, uh, and all be sharing the wonderful work that we're all doing around the world. So 
uh, I'm now going to go to this lovely set of slides that I have uh, 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 put together. Um, I was going to say, oh, yes. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Can you all see the screen okay? Are you all with me okay? Can, if I have a, a few thumbs up, then we're good. Excellent. So the Summer Hill Festival of Childhood. Um, first of all, I'm going to mention the uh, online event. I will talk about this a bit more um, in, in a few more minutes. But I'll first mention the online event, which is happening on the 30, between the 30th of September and the 5th of October 2021. Um, so this is part of the Summerhill Festival of Childhood. Obviously, due to the COVID restrictions, we had to postpone um, uh, the in-person event for this year. And so we're going to be, um, we, the, the plan was, is with, or now is, that we're going to be doing an online festival uh, between those dates. And then the in-person festival itself will be between the 5th and 10th of August, 2022. Now, I just want to talk a little bit um, uh, before I move on much further, um, almost where the inspirations of this came from. Um, I think that um, it started off really with um, the, the mentality around the importance of unity um, and unity actually around values. Um, now, the thing is, is that I've, I've um, as many of you know, I've spent many years um, uh, traveling the world and, and making uh, many connections with lots of organizations and lots of people around the world. And, um, and, and I started to see that there's many, many places that are not necessarily focusing on specific methods, but instead focusing on um, doing um, lots of other amazing and lovely, lovely work. Um, and uh, for, for, for me, I sort of really felt that, um, especially with um, almost the connections with, through Summerhill School as well, um, that actually these values are what really pull us all together. And, um, and I felt that um, it's so lovely to have so many wonderful uh, different methodologies and having different um, ways of doing things. Um, but actually, um, that, that was creating to a certain extent, it creates quite a bit of segregation and that, that um, especially with the um, importance or having the important focus of it being about childhood and children, that actually um, we, um, I, I really felt that it was nice to be thinking about those values and actually creating unity um, around the values of the festival, uh, sorry, uh, around these values that we all share. Um, in, in connection with childhood. Um, so uh, that was really where, that was where the first sort of ideas of it being about childhood rather than it being about any specific methods. Because I think, I mean, even um, A.S. Neil said himself that it's not about creating uh, um, a specific model of education that, that does everything. It's actually globally how we are all, you know, putting our minds towards uh, and, and attitudes towards what is important within the period of time of childhood. Um, so that was where uh, th this idea came from. Um, I had the lovely pleasure of connecting with many people from uh, uh, APDEC and uh, UDEC and, and, and IDEC as well. And uh, we had lots of lovely conversations in Ukraine with many people from there, all kind of getting together to kind of brainstorm and to, to, to think about uh, how this festival could come about and um yeah so we uh, the main oh actually oops no yes the main focus of the festival is to be celebrating childhood as a period of time and uh, celebrating the important values um that that, that that what children need during the period of time of childhood really um and uh, and um this is something that uh, I'll, I'll show in a few slides um, the, the, the list of what these values are and, uh, and how, how it sort of interconnects and resonates with us all. Um, we are celebrating 100 years of Summerhill School. Um, I guess that um, for us, it is, it's, it's such an important time uh, uh, to actually have a situation where we can um, uh, be saying that, we're, that we've actually had 100 years of life is really quite an amazing achievement. Um, but really the main focus is to focus on childhood and I think and, and to be uniting everybody from around the world, uh, which leads on to my ne next slide. 
Um, and I think we're, we're, um, we're uniting around equality, individuality, free play, imagination, creativity, self-discovery, well-being, democracy, and community. Um, oh, I've just realized that the word freedom is miss missing from there. <laughs> uh, another quite important one. Um, I think that the, the, um, the, the word community, obviously democracy is a very powerful one that we all share and we all know the, the benefits and the wonderful um, uh, advantages, um, especially because to a certain extent, um, uh, the actual giving of the democracy, the choice that children have uh, does actually give the freedom and the equality. And this is a very important part. Um, and obviously that leading into free play as well. But community is a word that we also really want to have in there as well, in, interlinking a little bit what I was saying earlier about the, the Summerhill CIC, um, really wanting to be working on that it's not just about education, um, that it's not just about parenting. Um, we all know that as parents, um, uh, that actually community is such a, such a value part, um, a, a valuable part. Lots of people involved with um, uh, uh, homeschooling and things like that, you know, the, the, the element that they find that is so, so important is to be able to make a wonderful community um, and local community, whether it's neighborhoods or towns, villages, um, and all of these sort of things. So that, so the word community we're really feeling is a, is a very important part within that. Um, as well as children's rights, obviously. Um, uh, this is, um, you know, again, all of these values sort of resonate with that very strongly. Um, alleviating pressures from childhood and allowing freedom for individual growth. The alleviation of pressures, I think that, um, you know, the mentality around that is really any little bit we can do that moves in the direction of, of, uh, of alleviating the pressures put upon children through um, education, uh, society, but it can also be from the home life as well, depending on, you know, the alleviation of these sort of pressures and, and, and expectations um, um, is, is a, a fundamental part of the, the improving of the well-being of, 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 of children and then obviously the future life. Um, so, yeah, so this is, uh, um, but, but I think I think the word unity was something that I really, really felt um, or that we feel, feel with the festival that's really powerful about this. I think we really want to try and try and break down those sort of um, or, or not necessarily to be getting rid of the individual methodologies that people are using, but to create unity amongst them that actually the focus is on uh, on and should be on uh, childhood. Um, so this was sort of the main kind of area. So far, we've been connecting with many, many lovely, lovely organizations uh, from around the world. This is, um, I'll say, an indicative list of the uh, uh, people and organizations that are joining the Summerhill Festival of Childhood. Um, we're, we're, we're still going to be having lots more. Um, we would like anybody who is involved with any organization that they would like to be involved with the Summerhill Festival of Childhood to get in contact with us. Um, uh, all of these uh, organizations and all of these people that you can see are going to be involved with the festival so far. When I say the festival, I mean the online festival and the in-person festival. Um, all of these organizations um, are, are all going to be interlinked. Um, and I'll also mention at this stage, uh, uh, very importantly, that the IDEC 2021 is also um, uh, is directly connected to, um, or will be um, uh, uh, actually a, a very significant part of the, the, the online festival this year. Um, but uh, obviously the, the IDEC being made up of all of the, the wonderful democratic education communities, UDEC um, and INDEC and APDEC, uh, ones that are up there at the moment, but ADEC is also uh, uh, going to be connecting with us as well. And um, so, so uh, as, as a whole, the, the, the democratic education community is, is going to be very, very welcome and celebrated and um, uh, focused on very strongly within this festival. Um, we've also got the Phoenix Education Trust, which is a UK based, if you don't know, it's a UK based um, uh, charity that does amazing work as well within the, the realms of democratic education. 
um, uh, founded mainly from Sand School. Uh, or, or the organizers of Sand School and sort of put together a wonderful group of people um, and they do amazing work throughout the UK. The Freedom to Learn Forum again is directly connected. They host uh, a, a yearly event um, uh, uh, in, in the UK and they're going to be connecting with us as well. Uh, we're very excited to have UNESCO uh, uh, joining us for both events as well. We're now sort of finalizing what the uh, UNESCO's involvement will be in the online event, but they will be, um, they're, they're joining us for the in-person event. And the idea is that it's connected to the Futures of Education initiative that they're running at the moment. Um, and um, so they're going to be doing some talks and joining um, some, um, some discussion groups and bits and pieces like this as well, which we're very excited about. Um, the the Frenet Cooperative as well um, uh, uh, have also joined with us as well. Um, so uh, o Oasis Movement again, the Oasis Movement are from India, and uh, if you don't know of them, I strongly recommend you look into the the work they do. They're amazing. They do some absolutely amazing work, mo working much more around social emotional development and the well being of a child rather than education itself. So we're talking about the well, to a certain extent, the fulfillment of childhood. Um, and, um, but also I will mention at this time as well is that we, um, a lot of the work that's, that we're inviting to the festival is also based around the lovely fun things as well, creativity, music, uh, theater. Um, you know, we want to be, we want to be arts and crafts and, and uh, we want to be in, inviting uh, uh, um, uh, people and um, organizations from around the world to be to be joining us in in that form as well we're talking to the theater without borders that is a global network um, the, again just lots of lots of people doing lots of lovely work and we really like the idea that it will be about education but actually it, we, we want to create a wonderful atmosphere of fun and love and being together and uh, and and uh, and doing lots of fun things i'm sure we're going to get um uh, Derry hannam on the piano i think that that will be uh, whether whether he's committed to that one or not i'm sure we'll have Derry playing us a little bit of piano and uh, but this sort of thing you know we really want we really want people who are coming to the festival to to yeah bring the support and the importance of of um of the work that we're all doing and to make sure that we can we can we can uh, you know have lots of good discussions and um, and and debates and 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 all of these sort of things, but at the same time bring a bit of playfulness on your shoulder as well, and uh, and to to come and have a a lovely time and lots of lovely fun. So this next slide is uh, how we well we're welcome wel welcoming you too. Uh, share your talents, interests, experience, ideas, and work. Um, actually, I'll just quickly add before I go any further. Um, it's going to be the, the the online festival and the the in person festival will have open space and very similar to what's happening here at the UDEC as well. Um, we'll have the open space, so all participants, everybody who's coming, um, will have the opportunity to. Um, bring anything that they want to share as well. And so we're going to be inviting people to be doing that uh, for both events. Um, again, to sort of really to, to, to strengthen to a certain extent the, the, the sense of community that we'll have at this event. Um, and, and yeah, to celebrate all of the wonderful work, as we all know, that is happening around the world. Um, so um, connect with inspiring people, initiatives from all over the world, play, play have fun, dance, uh, eat lovely local and international food, discuss and address significant global issues, collaborate, co-create and with others, inspire and get inspired. So um, um, we're also planning at the moment, um, whether this will be much for the online event, but will definitely be uh, a strong um, uh, part of the in-person event, um, we'll be uh, looking to launch a report as well, an official report from the festival, um, to kind of really collate uh, the, 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 the work and the voice and, uh, that everybody is going to be bringing to the festival. Um, 
and uh, and also I think I think I'll also say that we're you know we're we're hoping that other people will kind of bring ideas and ways that we can kind of really create an extra springboard from the festival to be carrying on uh, building uh, wonderful networks and, and connections and strengthening the work that we're that all of us are, uh, uh, are doing. Um, so yeah, so well, there's not many trees on the site of the festival, but we hopefully you'll get the opportunity to lie under a tree and, and relax as well. <laughs> um, oh, keep doing that. So the site, the location of the uh, in-person festival is down the road from Summerhill School, uh, about sort of a 20 minute, half an hour walk from Summerhill. Um, and uh, because uh, Summerhill is, is sort of generally moving most of its, its sort of centenary celebratory events um, to, to, to 2022, then the idea is that um, people will be all be able to, unfortunately, we won't be able to host everybody uh, because we're estimating sort of a uh, thousand to two thousand people to come to the in-person event, Summerhill is is not quite a big enough site for that, <laughs> um, considering we can only normally host about one hundred and fifty people. Um, but so so Summerhill will be just down the road and we'll be celebrating um, uh, uh, with everybody as well uh, during the festival. So we really want to invite. Um, uh, everybody and anybody to be coming and joining us and, and getting involved with, uh, this is both events really, uh, with, with both festivals. I think up, up until this point, I'm talking very specifically about both events, uh, the festival as, as a whole. Um, there's many, many ways of, that people can actually get involved. Um, uh, volunteers, we have a phenomenal uh, volunteer group of people who have been supporting us in, in, in making this festival a reality. Um, uh, I, was, uh, I wasn't quite expecting to have such uh, an amazing uh, response to the people who are all sort of putting, putting their, their energies and hearts into making this, this or well, actually both of these events a reality. Um, so, um, but we are, we're, we're, we're always, you know, there's, there's uh, as you can all imagine, organizing events like this is, is not a small feat. Um, and uh, and uh, we have a lovely, lovely network of global ambassadors who are helping us out. Um, and, and we have many different uh, uh, groups helping us with promotion and with booking and finance and, and, uh, and fundraising. And so if you have any time and if you have any wonderful skills you wanna be sharing and you want a little bit of experience maybe, um, then we're, we're very welcome to any, any support that anybody can give us. Um, but uh, also, you know, if it is that you feel that you have something that you would like to contribute, if you would like to, to do a talk um, at the online event or the in-person event, if you want to host a work workshop, if you want to host a making a bicycle workshop um, out of uh, pots and pans from your kitchen, trust me, that will be very welcome. Um, so we're, we're, if it is that you, there's any way that you feel that you'd like to uh, get in contact or you or if you know of anybody else who, who might want to, to connect with us um, and, uh, and, and, and join with us, then please do get in touch um, um, for either event, really. A lot of the organizations we're talking to at the moment, we're sort of saying to be involved with both events, to, to bring something to the online festival and then to plan something extra or extra special to then come to the in-person event. And so that's sort of the mentality um, uh, around that. Um, yeah, sponsors. And I mean, if there's anybody you think or if you know of that might be interested in sponsoring event or uh, 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 the events or anything like that, if you're a part of an organization that might be interested in sponsoring the event, uh, things like that is um, uh, uh, also very welcome to. Or if it is that you just want to be a participant and you want to come and you want to get a tent and you want to hang out in a field or hang out online with us um, and, and soak up the atmosphere and be a part of it all. Uh, then we, we would also love you, well, hopefully we'll see you all um, uh, uh, in person there. Um, okay, so tickets are available on our website for the in-person event. 
Um, and the email address at the bottom, festival at 100 years of summerhill.co.uk, is how you can get in contact with us. Um, and that sort of thing. So um, the next one, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about our online festival that is taking place between the 30th and the 5th of October this year. Um, so the mentalities around it, we want to keep the same sort of atmosphere. We want to, we want to have uh, the opportunity for, for lots of people from many, many different backgrounds, from many, many different organizations to, to, to all come and share the wonderful work uh, to be inspired by other people um, and uh, to, 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 to have an opportunity for networking, to, to build more new bridges or, or to rekindle old ones or <laughs> um, to sort of um, all, all come and join us for the, this wonderful event. Um, we will be It'll be, we'll have open space as well. It'll be multi-channel um, sort of timetable slots so that we will have the opportunity to have many, many um, events happening at the same time. There'll be lots and lots of spaces. It'll be running 24 hours. Um, um, we'll be encouraging people to uh, offer things, either having two slots to be offer, offering things twice for the, for the, for the, global, um, uh, for the global network or to then be in, um, to pre-recording um, some bits and pieces that you would then be able to show at, at, at separate times. Uh, we're very happy to be uh, announcing that the festival will be for free, the online festival will be for free. Um, uh, this is so that we can really make sure that anybody from around the world um, uh, will be able to join us. We'll be hosting it mainly on uh, uh, the, the likes of YouTube and, and uh, doing live streaming and, uh, and Zoom sessions as well. Uh, we may open to an, uh, up a, to another, a, a few other platforms, but basically those will be the main platforms we'll be using for the presentations and for the workshops. Um, but we will, uh, yeah, we're also talking, talking to some other organizations of ways of us, us, us hosting it. And there's some, I won't mention anything at the moment because uh, it hasn't any, and nothing's been finalized, but there's some uh, other sort of exciting news that hopefully we'll be releasing soon about that. Um, for the online event, we do also want to encourage things like performances, um, things like, um, you know, workshops for creativity, workshops, art workshops, you know, anything down that kind of line that's not necessarily around practice or, or, or anything like that can just be for fun. Um, uh, we're, I don't know if anybody has seen on the Summerhill Festival uh, page we posted recently that um, uh, crochet bombing has been happening in our local town. And uh, so uh, we really like the idea that this is becoming a, you know, whilst uh, the COVID uh, crocheting is a great way to be having a bit of fun and making your local environment colourful. And uh, so if there's anything like that, you know, if anybody wants to be sharing anything, um, doing any kind of workshops like that, we really want it to be not just a place for um, lots of uh, lots of talking and bits and pieces, but also lots of fun as well. Um, right, I've kind of had, this, I had a little blank. I had about two other things I already had on my list that I need to talk about, about the online festival. And I've just had a little bit of a blank, uh, which uh, does happen sometimes. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm sure I'll come back to them uh, uh, in, in a bit. Um, so, Okay, um, I'll just move on uh, a little bit more. Um, for those who, who haven't or don't know, we've, uh, we've got um, these are sort of some social media where you can find out more about us. Um, uh, also, um, obviously, the festival website. Um, yes, I've just remembered. I knew I was going to remember. So uh, the other thing also that we're wanting to do, this is part of the centenary, but also part of the online festival and the festival in, uh, in person is to be um, uh, inviting schools from around the world to be to be connecting with us. Um, uh, we would like to have uh, the opportunity for, for, um, uh, for, for schools to be, this is individual schools as to, to whatever wonderful practices and, uh, that people are doing to be coming and sharing um, uh, their work with us on the online festival and the in person. Um, so, 
yeah so and, and that's also to invite people to be sort of celebrating with us as well to 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 use um the the, the wonderful hundred years of summerhill and this general sort of time of celebrating of childhood to be sort of encouraging uh, the people from around the world with different uh, in different schools to be celebrating uh, with us all basically um so if if it is that you know of any schools or if you're a part of a school or anything like that um that you would like to sort of get in contact with us or be a part of the the the, the celebratory the centenary celebrations and also the festival then uh please do get in contact with us as well um, um yeah uh, just so we can sort of uh, find have have a situation where people can be uh, 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 joining us. Good. Okay. So, um, anybody want to join in uh, a chat? Has anybody got any questions or, or anything like that? Yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, if we plan to visit you in the summer of 22 with a group, is there any group arrangement? Are the fees um, lower for a group? Can you tell us about it? Yes, absolutely. Actually, well, I'd sort of think, Maro, you might be a better one to tell us about the detail from that. If it's connected with the, with the deck communities, there's a, a, a special discount. For um, uh, yes. for, for uh, yes, the, the members, uh, the members have the early bird price for a very long time, uh, a few months before the festival, mm. and um, for larger groups, we can discuss even more discount than that. But you have to contact us, um, yeah, yeah. via email. And when we say large groups, we mean more than twenty people. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it's useful for us to get um, uh, for for, the, for it to be tried to be rearranged, uh, prearranged uh, as much as possible, really, especially when it's large groups. Um, so, uh, we I I did a talk in South Korea just recently, and um, Tay, who's an ambassador of the festival, is already talking about having uh, over a hundred people in his group, which he's quite worried about. <laughs> um, but uh, but yes, it's I, I I sort of I think especially for the the in person event, um, it's good to get, let us know as much as much in, in advance as possible, really. Um, um, so yeah, but absolutely, there's uh, there'll be opportunities for that definitely. Anybody else has any questions or thoughts or anything to bring to the table? I have a silly comment. Henry. Yes, silly comment. Silly, silly comment. comment. Yes. yes, I hope so. I was hoping for that. Actually. The idea of it being just uh, talking and questions. I think silly comments are very important. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't actually have a question, except for practical matters, but we can arrange that later with Mara. Uh, that, that, um, I'm so moved by this whole um, event, kind of talk about summer here, because I read summer here when I was 13. Ah. <laughs> One, three. <laughs> that, was in, that was in 1982, you know, ages ago, and my mother had actually bought it. And, you know, it's like my ideal of education, of uh, child raising, the idea of freedom and uh, cooperation and community. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's stayed there. <laughs> it's always there. Now, you know, if, if I manage to come to the UK at that time, it will be like a childhood dream coming true. <laughs> Oh, yes. Amazing. Well, it'd be really lovely. Well, uh, um, and especially be lovely for you to actually visit the site then and actually come and uh, 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 and actually see the school in, in person as well. Yeah, I, I've i been um, I continually uh, amazed at the, 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 at the inspirations that, that uh, A.S. Neal's writings um, and his books and the, the amazing stories. Hopefully I'll be, bring my daughter who's 17 is uh, thinking of becoming a teacher and hopefully she will manage to find a place there to like, you know, connect with uh, Summerhill because this is what she wants to do. Yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> generation amazing. after generation. Oh, I, I don't think that goes into the silly. I don't think that goes in the silly category. I think that goes into the lovely category. I think it's just really lovely, really warm and really lovely. Thank you. Uh, you know, if you come, you're not going to be spared. You will have a talk about the importance of architecture of the school buildings. Yeah. I'm just there warning we go. you. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> yes. 
Well, I'm, I'm an architect and have uh, written about school space as well. Also, I have an idea about disability in space, and I'm sure oh. some of the school will have catered for that. Oh, yeah. Well, I think, I mean, this is, I, I really like the idea that, that, um, that, that people come, the ideas of what people can bring to the table come very broad, um, where, you know, even when talking about sort of sustainability uh, education and things like this, where there's, there's so much wonderful angles, um, I think, I think when it, when you, when, and this is why I think personally, I, I really like the idea of, of broadening it to being childhood, the whole, the whole, uh, the, the whole, the, the whole angle, all of the angles of it, really. Um, there's so many wonderful things with that. Yes, then you have to Sorry. limit. Hey, <laughs> say that again. <laughs> then you will have to limit and start putting limits. Well, that's quite true no. as well. Yes. Oh, well, don't worry. Oh, everybody loves a few limits. I mean, we can't all have freedom. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I think Richard raised his hand and also Derry. Ah. Hi, Richard. Hi. Hi, Henry. I'll, uh, I've put things in chat, so I'll, I'll uh, defer to Derry, but I, I hope people will take a moment, maybe save the file and, and see what's there. Huh. Thank you. Mm. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a question. Oh, do you have some love? I'll, there, I'll think, think of a few, Henry, Henry if you want me to, but uh, go ahead, Richard. Uh, everything that Henry is saying is is the kind of thinking that is behind the Youth Rights Day. And we're trying to bring people together worldwide the same way. Uh, the idea being that, that one of the reasons that we haven't been more successful bringing these ideas before the public is that we've been too disconnected. And obviously the, the festival is a huge effort to, to unite people, bring them together. And, and uh, so the Youth Rights Day is, is to be a, an annual event, if we can make a success of it, uh, a one day a year that, that celebrates everything that uh, you're talking about with the Summer Hill Festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that I put in chat is that uh, we have a lot of students right now that are, are working hard in other areas, uh, social and environmental justice. Uh, they really haven't thought about their education that much, realizing how much uh, traditional education actually contributes to the problems that we have. And so the Youth Rights Day is to try to unite all youth under one umbrella. Uh, and then the education one being a, a huge part of that. And so it, we might be able to then uh, enlist or uh, not, not recruit, but involve uh, so many more students who are activists in nature, but not thinking about their education. So that, that's uh, that idea and, and uh, great work on the festival. I, I really like, I'd, I'd like to, well, I'll check in to see about a couple of the organizations that I'm involved with sponsoring mm. it, mm. helping with it. Mm. Mm. So thank you, Henry. Amazing, thank you, Richard. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I, it sounds, sounds amazing. Yeah, it sounds great. I mean, we're, um, I think what's, I think we're all finding uh, that actually it's it's bringing lots of people together that, that is, um, I guess it's, it's hard to know about everybody. It's hard to know about all of these wonderful things happening. And I think that an event like this is, it starts to really bring people together. And it, it means that it, it opens it, uh, uh, doors and networks for everybody. And I think that's a really powerful thing. Um, and, uh, oh, wait, what's that? <laughs> Has someone got lots of piles of Summer Hill books there? <laughs> Liz, you wanted to ask a question or, or uh, an opinion? Oh, it's amazing. So I just, again, I want to echo uh, some of the comments that have already been made. Um, so I was a high school teacher for 20 plus years, and I now am uh, teaching teachers. And I wish I could remember when I first read Summer Hill. But uh, it was a long time ago, and um, you know, I it, it has influenced everything I've done uh, in my entire career. It always being sort of the ultimate goal to create that environment uh, for for the learners in my care. But it's sort of elusive, you know. This whole Summer Hill thing was quite elusive uh, to people in, for me, for example, in Canada. And for 
you know, teachers who are in the system. So uh, kudos to the organizers and to you, Henry, and everyone else, um, inviting and holding the space for people who are in traditional uh, environments, because the only way they're really going to get to understand that, you know, like Derry's book, Another Way is Possible, is by seeing it firsthand or being a part of it firsthand. And that's what I try to do in, in the courses I now teach is, you know, embrace all those ideas and let people experience it so that they can then take it back to their classrooms. So I think it's wonderful that you're really trying to uh, in, invite, you know, an eclectic group um, because it, that is going to create a unifying experience for people and it will give people hope that, you know, another way is possible. Uh, Summer Hill's a, a, an, you know, exemplary model of uh, how that has been done for over a hundred years, but it, I think it's always been felt out of reach to many people. Yeah. And I think your, your, your uh, festival online and in person is going to demonstrate that it actually isn't as difficult as it seems. So thank you for that. And I will look into seeing what I can do to uh, continue to promote and to help and support. Thank and I'm, so and I'm sending lots of love. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you so much. It's really, it's really sweet. Liz. But you're absolutely right. Um, we, um, I think we've had over the years, we've had many, many, many thousands of people visit Summerhill. And often what happens is, is exactly what you said. They come and they go, this is amazing, but I can't do it in my classroom. I can't do it under the restrictions that, that, um, that, that, that we have. And, uh, and I think that that is something that is, that's another reason why uh, I wanted to start up the A.S. Neil Summerhill CIC, so that we can start actually offering courses and offering, um, you know, sharing the experience that we've had over 100 years, but more importantly, how to implement it in your own environments, whether it's community, whether it's the home life, whether it's within education and classrooms, schools, you know, um, and because and I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Derry also has been very much involved with 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 this sort of world for, for, for a very long time. And and I'm sure you've experienced a similar thing, Derry, where many people, they look and they go, we don't know how to do it. Um, but there's so much wonderful work that can happen and there's so much wonderful work happening. And I think that sort of helping people get over that boundary of sort of that, 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 that wall of thinking that they can't do it. Um, to actually show it really it really can and to a simple thing about even if it's just down to relationships um, the way that you interact with them the way you treat them the way you speak to them the way you honestly feel about them and the way you can you can give trust and love in such uh, simple ways to a certain extent and um, and, uh, and and sort of break down the utopia that people often have put put Summerhill into and I think that that's really important so Liz thank you very much for that it's really yeah, really important. It's why I wrote the book, Henry. I, yeah. put, I put my cat Breton Island, um, where Liz comes from, uh, because I had a wonderful session with some of her students a couple of weeks ago. Oh. Uh, in celebration, I wear my uh, <laughs> uh, my hat. Oh, lovely, lovely. Really lovely. Okay, I don't want to be the bad person here. We only have two or three more minutes. So if there are any more questions, please bring them up now. Um, I'm just going to use uh, roughly about 15 seconds because I can see that Nicholas and Jasmine are in this. And I just want to send you guys so much love. Uh, they're the ones who are helping us with our website and they are amazing and they're doing lots of lovely work themselves and they're just amazing lovely people <laughs> so that's all just giving them a little bit of love anybody has any more questions then uh, <laughs> feel free to share uh, if there's anything else yeah so i just tell in just seconds the story about this many books yeah um, you're a teacher in hamburg and this book is from the early 80s and there has been an English teacher, I didn't know myself, but he bought his books for the classroom and he was reading the book in, in, in his English lessons. And um, okay. this was uh, funny enough, yeah, this is why I have this piles of books. So yeah, just <laughs> I wanted to share that, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, it's quite it's quite lovely to see so many copies of them in one pile. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> really lovely, really, really lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, good, good, um, good. Okay, well, if there's no other questions, then just lovely, lovely, lovely to see you all. Thank you all for coming, and always lots and lots of love to everybody. And uh, please do get in contact. If there's any thoughts you're having about ways of being involved with, with uh, the online festival or the in-person festival, uh, please do get in contact uh, because it, we, we're really wanting to sort of, especially with the online event, we're wanting to be building bridges with people. And we know how easy it is for life to just roll on and you think, oh, I was going to get in contact with them. No, no, get in contact now. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so lovely to see you all, and uh, hopefully see you in the online. I mean, in the in-person event, so we can all hug. Uh, that's always the first and most important criteria, and uh, and then uh, hope to see you on the online event as well. And do get in touch, and lots of love to everybody. <laughs>